44 Pro Gloves is a small glove company that has taken the baseball world by storm over the past five years. The amount of customization options and the ability to create any type of glove that you desire continually make it a go-to option for a young baseball player when looking at purchasing a brand new ball glove. This is my custom 44 Pro ball glove and it is part of the C2 series. Now, I wanna sit here and talk about this glove in particular today because of my experience with it and the experience that I've had with the leather and all the design. So without further ado, let me talk about this ball glove and my experience with the C2 series. Now, I'm not trying to make this video to bash 44 Pro or anything of that sort, so let me get that squared away right now. I just want to talk about my experience with this ball glove and be as transparent and truthful as I can with this glove. I have not experienced all their other ball gloves, so I cannot talk about the other types of leather, the other types of design, and the other custom options that they offer with those ball gloves, because again, I haven't tried those particularly. So I can only talk about the C2 series and my experience with this ball glove that I have here today. 44 Pro is a glove company that has grown very popular within the last five years. And there are professionals such as Paul Seawald, Ronel Blanco, Yandi Diaz, and others who love and adore using their ball gloves. 44 Pro is a company that offers custom ball gloves at a very, very reasonable price. So you're not having to pay 300 to 400 to 500 dollars for a custom glove this is my custom 44 pro glove and it is a part of the c2 series like i said it has a black and green lace color wave as well as my last name and college number stitched on this glove this glove also features their patch logo design as well as a modified trapeze web and like i said before it's 11 and a half inches big and there's not really a lot too special about this glove other than I bought it during one of their various sales and it came within about five weeks, very speedy, very game ready. It was my gamer all throughout my sophomore college baseball season. And I really did enjoy using this glove. I, I mean, it went well with obviously my college colors. That's mostly the reason why I got this ball glove. And it was only 172 bucks. You can't beat that in a custom ball glove. Now, it's made of steer hide leather, and what I didn't know at the time was that this glove is actually, I think, made primarily for recreational and youth use, which is something that I was not made aware when I bought this glove. I didn't do enough research into it, but it also has a finger pad right here for pitching, obviously. After my college season, I noticed that the glove just started losing its shape. The padding was didn't quite feel as normal quality and the leather and everything just felt like it was degrading. Now, I don't understand why that happened per se, but it was very concerning. I was playing catch with my buddy all last summer and there was no padding. It felt like it was just a floppy and the ball was just stinging every time it hit my hand. I don't understand why that happened, now, I could have just been from overuse, and again, I used it in a college season, so I'm using this thing like every day. I'm here just to take, play a little bit of catch with this, just to kind of show you guys kind of like why I'm not the biggest fan. I've broken this in kind of more thumb to ring finger, and oh, I'm not the biggest fan. I just feel like this glove is, it's just kind of broken down over time like I've talked about. The leather is, it's its all right. I've kept up with it for the most part. Like I said, like I talked about, I've conditioned the leather. It just feels very floppy overall. My brother actually used this in his season oh, last year. And he kind of ex uh, like talked about the kind of the same thing. And it's not, I'm not trying to say that all 44s are bad gloves because they're not. 44 does make some really good ball gloves as we see a lot of MLB players use their gloves, right? So obviously all of them can't be bad gloves. All I'm saying is that it is a little concerning. Ah, oh, crap, I just got this all wet. It is just a little concerning how this glove has kind of held up over the last year and a half. Like I said before, oh, 
I don't think all 44s are bad gloves. I'm just saying that it is just very concerning how this leather and how this glove has kind of held up over the test of time over the last year and a half. It's not entirely a bad glove. Obviously, it still catches the baseball, it still gets the job done. But I will be very curious to see how this glove will hold up over the next, you know, couple years. Now, 44 is a glove brand that continues to grow across the baseball community. And although they are going from small to very, very big, their quality is also improving. My experience probably hasn't been like a lot of other people because a lot of people choose 44 Pro for their custom options. And although it is a glove company, this is just a personal experience I wanted to share on my channel about this particular ball glove and just talk about this is my opinion on the c2 series thank you all for watching the video and if you like the video please leave a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and comment down below what your thoughts are on 44 if you've had a different experience i'd love to hear it i'd love to talk about it in the comment section but anyways guys thank you all for watching the video heidi throws out see you guys in the next video